<laughs> Se executed for criminal in your basement. So this is where the UC hides all the scary shit they're doing. What I'd give to have all the rangers with me right now. Logging authorized entry. Unsealing access. You may proceed down the corridor. But there are no additional visitors permitted. Your friend's gonna have to wait out here. Ah. Oh. Well, you'll have to tell me all about it later. At least the company will react to this. And not just teleport the way. So, yeah, this is quality lo of life. Welcome. Chances. Please. Come down and approach the intercom. You and I should chat. Okay, this is some kind of Hannibal Lecter kind of guy. President Abeo was kind enough to give me a few files to peruse. Hey, you are war criminal. Like a series of accomplishments you've managed. But now you face a foe unlike any other. An invisible enemy lurking in the shadows. You're going to need all the help you can get. Which is why I hoped we could speak. Do you know who I am? Perceptive. I like that. I'm Francois Senon. Ah. You know me as the Victus. I was an admiral during the colony war. One of its He's not great dead. villains, if you believe the slates. I was to be executed for my crimes. But the previous regime deemed me too valuable to simply discard. So they put me here. A sacrifice on the altar of peace. Even my death served the colonies. <laughs> Very astute. That's my daughter. My progeny. You've been working alongside. Has she shared with you the nature of our... Little family. Uh, did she? So willing to trust Hadrian. I never did succeed in driving that out of her. Okay, he, he's Our giving me bad guy vibes. Been Strong bad guy, guy vibes. The Major was born to become a great leader, carry on the legacy I established, and was given all the finest training to support it. And she excelled. But the universe cut all that short. Now, though, it's placed even more crucial work in front of the two of you. And I think I have a part to play in helping you accomplish what you've set out to do. Not every day I get a chance to work with a man living in a peace tank. Keep talking. After some long years earning the trust of this current regime, the UC has been permitting me to work alongside one of their recovery teams. Helping them gather intelligence on, locate, and organize scenarios to lure in some of the criminals that evaded justice after the colony war. With quite a few successes, I might add. But in the process, I managed to find something else. Okay. The names and locations of Hadrian and Percival's old research team. Valuable manpower for the effort you're about to embark on. I'll tell you where they are. But in exchange, I need something dealt with. Uh-huh. There is a former colleague of mine. A man by the name of Dr. Reginald Orlais. 
Like myself and Hadrian, he was involved in some of the United Colony's more... problematic lines of research. Mech weapons were his specialty. If it dealt death, he could make it deal more. When the Colony War ended, he fled, refusing to face Tribunal, and has continued to peddle his skills to the highest bidder to this day. Ah. I finally found him. I want you to track him down and deal with him, however you're able. I'm not expecting he'll come quietly. Bring me evidence that the job's done, and I'll tell you what I know. You can certainly try, but the man's been out there 20 years. He's likely gone feral by now. Easier for all if you simply blow up his ship and be done with it. If that's what you require to sleep at night, so be it. According to my information, he's been hiding around the world of Etheria, Wolf System. There's a star station in the vicinity, the Den. The head of the local vanguard, one Captain Marquez, should be able to help you find our man. Hmm, okay. Yeah, he's in there. Fish tank. Living well. So we could try to find the guy and bring him to Captain, justice. Did your uh, meeting go well? I hope it's clear now why we needed you to agree to all the secrecy. <laughs> Say execute that more criminal in your page, but Captain, please keep your voice down. The situation with the prisoner is a complex one. A holdover from a different era. But it's a situation we've been managing as discreetly and humanely as we can for some time now. Well, guy is the living in a freeze tank. part of that management is making sure no one else learns of it. Do I make myself clear? Short of jailing you? No. You're right. But in this moment, I think it would be a big mistake to tell her. Though I presume he didn't call you down there simply to discuss his daughter. Dr. Reginald Orlais? He's finally found him. Of course, killing Orlais is completely out of the question. But bringing him to justice... He's been on the lam for years. That'd be a huge win for the UC. What's being offered in return? Really? He found the members of the research team. We'd already initiated a search for them, but it'd save a lot of time and manpower if he just gave us that information. Captain, if that's the deal, you have my endorsement. Just so long as you make every effort to bring the man in alive. Now, was there anything else you wanted to discuss regarding your meeting? The Den? It's a star station. Orbiting Wolf. The second star station, actually, to bear that title. First one was blown to smithereens by House Varun during the Serpent's Crusade. Ah, okay. The place has always acted as a remote strategic hub, primarily for repairing and refueling UC military vessels. But because of its distance from the rest of the UC, things there have always been a little more lax. Patrols included. I can think of worse places in the galaxy for a criminal to hide out. Trusting the man downstairs would be a mistake. But I don't think you need to be too concerned. This is far from the first name he's handed over, and all previous missions went off largely without a hitch. So while I'd certainly warrant caution, I think you can proceed. Then I'll bid you good day, Captain. I wonder what happens if the jump isn't successful. Welcome to the den. If you 
have business, feel free to land. This is actually pretty realistic. Docu docking port and animation. Well, that was fun. Now what? Captain John, can I be of service? Cap Let me know if I can be of assistance in the future. I wish I could. Well, this station's seen better days. I wonder if the UC will ever fully restore it to its former glory. Looking to lodge a complaint? Then you want UC security, not the Vanguard. Oh, apologies, Captain. Didn't recognize you without the uniform. So, what can I do for you? Or Lace. Doesn't ring a bell. Anything you can tell me about him? Seriously? Out here? Surprised they didn't send out a general notice he's in town. Though, I guess there's less a chance he bolts if they keep it hush. But I expect we would have heard something... Wait... The Warlock! There's been rumor of a ship out there for years now. Doesn't respond to hails, never docks. More than a few amateur investigators have tried to find it. And at least two never came back. So basically two amateur investigators have spotted him. Pretty dangerous if you're not used to flying in them. But if you're suggesting it might not have been the fields that got them, well... I can give you the coordinates of the Warlock's last sighting. Can't think of a better spot your Orlais might be hiding. Well, the original Den Star Station was destroyed decades ago during the Serpent's Crusade by marauding House Baroon Zealots. Big part of the remains from those battles ended up gathering around Etheria, forming a nasty debris field. Every now and then, some headstrong scrapper comes limping back because they hit an 80-year-old mine. Or sometimes they don't come back at all. Though, maybe it's not just the field that's been picking them off. I mean, I honestly thought it was just a story board haulers told to amuse each other. But if the pilot of the warlock really has been dusting our people, well, hopefully you're about to make our skies a whole lot safer. Sure thing. Here, this should get you pointed in the right direction. Go get your man. <laughs> hey, next time you see Barrett, try it out on him. Oh, that's a mine. going oh, we are docking Don't worry, you have Selimate. Pressure normalized and we're docked. Captain John, it is pleasant to see you.
Oh no. Ah, uh, there's a syringe. So he killed himself. Personal computer. Did it, did it, did it. That's puzzling. For the things you have done won't get a trial, lock you in the cage rest of your life. No way. For a man to live when they come, you, you kill them or show them, you won't be cage. Well, at least we tried. Separation complete. Welcome back, Captain. Do you have some news for me regarding Dr. Olay's? I tried to bring him, but he took his own life. Mm, I'm not surprised. The man fled every consequence he ever faced. Of course. You don't expect me to just take you at your word, do you? Excellent. Please, deposit it in the transfer system. Ah? Uh? Transfer accepted. Would you look at that? Kept it all these years. Some simply couldn't let go of that old world. I can ensure the remaining team members find their way to the Red Devil's headquarters. Except for one. Okay. That one you'll need to collect yourself. You? His name is Kaiser. Kaiser. So you say. Kaiser so the say. star world of Nera, wandering the battlefield there. The area was ground zero for Xeno weapon deployments during the war. So I would arm yourself appropriately. And I think you'll want to check in with Hadrian and Dr. Walker before paying it a visit. Kaiser will likely have security protocols you'll need their help to overcome. A military Model A. Yes. Robot guy. Specifically customized for the needs of the Xeno Warfare team during the Colony War. A powerful resource. If you can recover him. Of course. We're protecting the galaxy, Captain. We'll need every tool at our disposal. <laughs> They will see you now. Authorized personnel only. Your friend has to stay here. Okay, what? Ah, uh, that was from bar for the... Yeah, alright, so we need to go to the Mars once again. Red Devil's headquarters, so I can land directly there. Now, which is useful. I mean, I mean, this is pretty good. Ah, uh, that's a <laughs> hype. That's ours, I hope. Ah, was told they're expecting you. Head on in. Looks much better now. Uh. 
<clears throat> I was surprised to get this assignment. Never expected the UC to bring us here willingly. Yes? Trying to get up to speed on all this research is like trying to drink from a geyser. Oh, this goddamn planet. You romanticize a place when you're away from it for long enough, but I forgot what a dust-crusted pit Mars can be. Now you, uh, what do you need? Oh, that's you then. I was informed we might be working together. Don't much care for Vanguard. But sounds like you two really got into the thick of it back in New Atlantis. My sister's kids live in the city. So, um, thank you for what you did there. Yeah, they both came through okay. One science division, others an artist. Effectively useless human beings that would have had no reason to be anywhere near the fighting. Still, would hate to see anything happen to him. Now, what was it you needed? No more reliable hardware in the galaxy. A little bit of cold never hurt anyone, right? Pardon? It's, game wants me to go here. So let's let's let, let's leave it to game to do. Actually, show us the way. Coffee bag. Captain, welcome back. I was afraid you might have gotten reassigned. You've been gone so long. So how's it feel to be a citizen? I can fly. <laughs> to each their own. Still remember my ceremony. 19 years old. Standing on the front deck of Mast, looking over the city. One of the proudest days of my life. But it is real good to have you here again. We've been going through the years old. data and... Well, we're gonna need Must all be the help about we can get. Because her dad. These logs, they're even more thorough than I remembered. Genetic workups, population statistics, hell, even their food chain. I'd completely forgotten, for example, that there was a creature that actually ate pteromorphs. Terror, terror <laughs> At this point, the data's given us more options to explore than we have people to work on them. <laughs> That'd be something, wouldn't it? I'm sorry, are you? You're serious? Yep. You found our research team? That's incredible. That accelerates everything. With them back, it'll let us... Wait. Kaiser. Did you find Kaiser? Well. That... That's right. You would need that. Whoever gave you these leads sure knew their stuff. Yeah, wow. about that. How exactly did you manage to find them? I like when the games actually give you real, real Moral choices. I'm just telling that I had some hair. Actually, they were found by your father. He's alive in person, but the UC. That's not funny. Seriously, how'd you find them? No. That's... That's insane. He died. They executed him. They... They faked his death? Yep. My entire unit, they threw us all to the wolves, but kept him? Yep. And now he's what? An advisor? Commanding the fleet in secret? What was so important that they had to keep him alive? Oh, 
Well, they certainly picked an expert, didn't they? He's... alive. Vey Victus is still alive. I don't care if they're using him to solve world hunger. The man is a criminal. How could the UC yeah, have something Sarah, he's so speed foolish? UC. I guess it makes sense, though, doesn't it? The UC of that era only created me because they were afraid of a world without Vey Victus in command. Why would they get rid of him? As long as I live, I'll never understand the loyalty that old bastard elicited. I don't know, he's kind of charming, a creepy serial killer kind of way. Same mistake the UC made. Ignoring all the red flags. Mm. Because the UC, they did a lot of terrible things for that man. But even knowing they did, knowing that they kept him alive all this time. You know what I feel right now? It's hope. What? I had no one when I was outside the UC. No red devils. No family, but that old world where I was no one and my father mattered, that's gone. Thanks to what you and I have done, I have a place again, a purpose. But it's finally one I can be proud of. You and I, we're getting to change what the UC stands for. So I don't care if Victus is alive or dead. He can rot for all I care. Okay. We're the ones who are making the settled systems and the UC better. <laughs> I can be a dick. I refuse to let that man define my entire life. Not anymore. Because there's nothing we can do about past choices. What we can do is try and make the right ones now. So, let's get back to the business at hand. Now, my father just handing over the information on the research team and Kaiser out of the clear blue, I can't say I trust it. But if he has something to gain from helping us prevent terror attacks, I'm not seeing it. So while you'll absolutely want to be cautious, what would you think about trying to bring back Kaiser? Why do you think Lavik this is helping us? I'm honestly not sure what his end game might be. Involving himself in preventing terror morph attacks after all the damage he's done? Something doesn't add up. But he clearly understands how valuable it'd be to have Kaiser involved in this endeavor. So I still think it'd be worth looking into, if you're willing. He might actually know where the terror morphs are coming from. I think it's the right call. But if Kaiser has been out wandering on his own for all this time, you're gonna need a couple things. Guns. Lots of guns. I'm listening. Okay. I know it's here somewhere. Kaiser schematics. Actuators, weapons, batteries. That old robot's been MIA for a while, so chances are he's gonna need some repairs. He's also got a lock on his voice controls. You can give yourself authorization with the phrase Nos Belli Machinis. Okay. Now, where exactly is the old machine? Zero folks in a weapons deployment. Oh my god, are you talking about Nero? Yeah. No wonder no one's found him. Xeno weapons are just the tip of the iceberg in that place. The environment's devastated. There's little, if any, real law. 
Nero's got more than enough ways to make any visit your last. But I think there's a place where you can start your search. Hmm. Yep. One of a kind salvage. Licensed to an Angelo Alonso. Goes by Gel. As good a place to start as any. Kaiser lets us do field work with a level of precision that there's really no other way to accomplish. More than a few of the options we're looking into, detectors to uncover the terramorph transmission method, or crafting a targeted biological agent, they require highly specific materials to test against. And asking a group of Marines to accompany us for that kind of work, well, it usually ended up with ruined samples and wounded teammates. The colony war saw a lot of hard fighting, but Nera got it the worst. Everything the Freestar Collective and UC could muster, ground troops, Xena weapons, mechs, was hurled into the fray. Both sides hoped something would decisively turn the tide, but it never did. When the war finally ended, swaths of that world were so devastated they were effectively abandoned. So what Kaiser's doing there, of all places, I can only guess at. And I'll make sure we're ready to put them to use as soon as you've got them. That's a hit, Leech. Surprised they are not concerned about humans, but uh, uh, in aliens. Maybe. That's a make. Oh. Hello. I'm pleased to see scrappers disassembling these mechs. Damn war machines are better off being erased from history. Hey! New model on the floor. Welcome to the one of a kind. Refuge and rest home for the hardest scrappers anywhere. Name's Jill. Proprietor. So formal. The pleasure's all mine, my good man. Angelo Alonso, at your service. You can call me Jill. Can I get you started on a tab, then? Or are you here to try and make your fortune in the fields? I'm happy to take your credits however you want to hike them over. Kaiser? No bot around here with that tag. Oh, unless you mean Captain Ahab? What? But no. That's what we've all been calling him. No clue what his actual designation is, since he's got some sort of security protocol that prevents inquiries and general chit-chat. But he's a combat bot, right? Yeah, that machine's been out there a while now, hunting this one siren, his white whale. But it's been a while since anyone's laid eyes on Captain Ahab, though. Maybe he finally got the thing. Or it got him. <laughs> a 
Must be me spoken not epic, guys. Nasty kind of alien left behind after the colony war. Pretty much blind. Original ones brought to Nera were all Xeno weapons. But those critters have long since passed. But they left behind more than enough untrained babies to keep the fields plenty interesting. Well, all right. So, sounds like you've got two options. You can wander around out there, hunting your bot, little old white whale of your very own. Maybe you find him. Maybe okay. you get yourself killed. And second choice. But knowing this rock is part of what we do here. So if you want to find him a whole lot faster, I'll sell you what I know about this. Kaiser's location. Going rate's a little steep, but I'm willing to negotiate. I'm listening. I don't care how badly you need it. I'm not telling you. You think you scare me? Not going well. Look, I'm gonna stop you there. I've got my livelihood to look after here, all right? So, I'm sorry. The fee's the fee. Pleasure doing business with you. So, last anyone heard of him, he was out near the Syracuse, shipwreck about a quarter click down the main strip. One of my roughnecks said he heard some kind of beacon. Just keep your ears open. You should find your machine. Eyes open too. Sirens and ecliptic out there, and neither takes prisoners. Oh, and corpse retrieval is not included in this transaction, so now you know. Yep. Give Ahab a Kaiser our best. I'm pleased to see scrappers disassembling these mechs. Damn war machines are better off being erased from history. Okay, that's the thirty level. They they do lots of damage. Out. That part of the life form should prove useful. You see Suraku. Oh, it's a ship. Out. 
Ah, you see defense manual. Hello. What can I do for you? Ah, so that's where your machine's been. Ran out of juice. Heat leeches, wasn't it? Those little stowaways are everywhere on this rock. Suck the power out of a pen light if you let them. But a micro cell. That's military grade tech. I think we might have one, but I can promise you it's not going to be cheap. You could probably Frankenstein one together using our fabrication system here, but only if you had some quality schematics. So, I just brace for a little sticker shock. Wouldn't have lasted real long here, doing what we do without a top-notch fabrication system. So long as you've got the specs, it should be able to handle making you a microcell. But finding materials up to the task, you're likely going to be sifting through quite a few mech hulks out there to find what you need. Though, if you think you can actually manage something like that, I'm willing to make you a deal. I'll point you towards the juiciest harvest sites. Spots where you should be able to find quality parts but in return, any excess materials you collect, you sell to me, all right? Save us from risking our necks on another run out there. What do you say? I can't give you a guarantee, but a couple... All the intact microcells will be long gone, too valuable. So what do you say? Then let me just mark those collection... So, we need to go out and get some parts for the micro sale. Gathering missions. At least they make make sense uh, plot wise. Okay, now now we know why, why the mech was here. Flying Merc. Okay, Slider is not coming.
Okay, so what's, what's with my health? Uh, it's a bit low. Status, status, status. Okay, now the yellow went away from the my health bar. Forget whatever else you find in those spots, you sell. We'll be certain to put that to good use. Other options here. Plus, we have a killer robot on our side, so.
choice now. We'll have to take them all down. That's a normal sp spice. Okay, Stara is scaring me. Find anything useful? Legendary Lawkeeper. Skip shot assassin and refine. <laughs> ah, that's a crazy um, uh, um, damage. Our work here is finished. Now, what is this mission you spoke of? Major Sanan is involved. A plague. Of Terrahorf attacks. That is disconcerting. You are docked at one of a kind. I will meet you there. Okay. I'll get to it, Dad. I promise. This ain't my getting around to a tone. You understand? Engine's purring. Let's do this. It's it's basically space where you are scanned when you we enter. Shape than I expected, Geyser. Shouldn't take as long to get you back up to full fighting capacity. This is good to hear. I was told. 
told that there is a new threat on the horizon. I wish to learn more. Percival will give you the full story. Plus, get you dressed for the occasion. Occasion? Where are we going? Londinian. Hmm. Londinian. Doctor, I will require additional <laughs> armaments. More guns. Come on. Captain, you're with me. Time to walk you through what we came up with. Is it really necessary for you to drag around all that gear? Yes. They can be anywhere. Meaning us finding and disposing of them ourselves isn't an option. Okay. But what if we could let something else do the work for us? Come on. I'll walk you through what we're thinking. So, the thing that oh. eats terror morphs. You remember that creature we talked about before you went to Nira? The thing that eats terramorphs, the Achilles? Take that as a no, then. Yes, there are. Apparently, the Achilles were bloodhounds for terramorphs. But when the UC ran low on synthetic foods during the Colony War, the Achilles were chosen to fill in the gaps. Ah. We thought they were harvested to extinction. But in the data, the research team found the location of a few remaining specimens. As you can see, what we're proposing is bringing them back. We'd breed populations of them, distribute them to human worlds, and then let nature take its course. So it's a cockatrice. Using a method that thousands of years of adaptation have already perfected. We could speed up their breeding process using, well, using some of the same technologies that were used to create me. We even think that with some time and investigation, we could use the Asili's hunting skills to track down the Terramorph transmission method at long last. Find out how humanity spread them and put an end to the Terramorph problem definitively. Yeah. I'm not sure I like the idea of introducing random aliens to human friends. Like well, galaxy. there is another option. It'd be faster, maybe even more effective. But it's got its own risks. A microbe. Uh -huh. Something that could aerosolize, <laughs> let spread, and have it clean up anything with Terramorph DNA for us. Which would include morphs, and we expect, their transmission method. It'd still take time to build, test, and distribute, but no other method could hold a candle to it when it comes to sheer efficiency. Not even the Achilles. Well, so that's tricky. Both plans are going to take major investments in time and resources. We're talking years of work, and not to mention some highly specialized materials. Terramorph cell lines we can breed quickly and consistently to test on. A Seely's gene samples we can use to rebuild their bloodlines. Or sharpen our microbes' tracking skills. Not the sort of things any labs just got lying around. But we think we found a lead. One place in the known galaxy where we know we should be able to find all the materials we need. All paths lead to Londinian. Hmm. <laughs> it's certainly not encouraged, but the UC's given their sign-off for this excursion. This trip is all above board. It's dangerous, yes. But Kaiser, Percival, and I, we've trained for this. And you're not so green yourself. And the last thing I want right now is for the UC to stick us with some gung-ho jarhead who's gonna put us and the mission at risk. Captain, you're the reason we're all here right now. You're the person I think can help us finish it. Will you join us on this? Exactly what I was hoping to hear. Now, the UC has a small operating base on Londinian's outskirts. 
We're cleared for access, but we'll need to check in with the base commander, Sarah Hatoum, when we touch down. I'm gonna help Percival and Kaiser prep, but once that's done, we'll rendezvous with you there. But you need to know, Londinian? It belongs to the Terramorphs. They'll have anti-Xeno gear for us at the base, but I'd make sure you've got your favorite arms on hand. <laughs> 